the freaking oh, this is pretty much done. Look how I look. City of mine. How I love, how I love the city of mine. <laughs> Let's get Kobe up. Ugh. What are you doing? This is Fat Baby Self, everybody. Say hi. Hey, say hi. Kobe. Kobe. What's your brother turn on? X-Men? Mommy's gotta go cook some food. Come on, you wanna come? He closed my door for get to my stuff. Come on. Come on. Cash is in here playing in the sink. For some reason, mommy closed it. I've gotten to the point where I just let him because literally he will play with running water and random spoons and bowls and pouring it out for hours. Like, having a blast. So, I'm going to let him have a blast. Alright, so for these, for this chain rest, hold on, let me turn this down. All right, so for this recipe, it calls for, it says about three pounds of chicken breast. This is 4.5. I was only going to make a few of these so I can have like two of the breasts left to make like some stir fry. But now that I'm thinking about it, I'm probably just going to make it all. Uh, so I can have leftovers because leftovers are good for when I don't feel like cooking, you know. So it's always good to have leftovers. So let me just do that. Oh, so... I'm going to start off by washing these uh, chicken breasts, I'm just washing them and putting them on the bottom of the crock pot here. My mommy has to do something here. No, no, no. Because actually, these are big ass pieces. Like, look. And the recipe only calls for it. So, yeah, I can just, I'll just say these. Yeah, I feel bad. I forgot the freaking. Um, what the fuck is it called? <laughs> I am high, guys. Excuse me. What did I forget? The paper towels yesterday. Maybe I'll go to the Dollar Tree. I'm just. I don't like to bring the little gremlins. Toby's right here. <laughs> oh, that was one of those days. Okay. So, again, I'm going to put this on high. I'm going to start on high. So, the recipe itself calls for barbecue sauce, zesty Italian dressing, some minced garlic, and then this Italian dressing recipe mix. So, first and foremost, I'm going to put some salt. Now that I think about it, I don't think it said anything about salt, which is sus. Definitely gonna put some salt on just a little, just a little bit. The Italian recipe is probably good. Okay. That's the mix. Um, so it says one and a half cups of barbecue sauce, sauce and then one cup of this. And then it says to mix it beforehand and the seasoning. And then just pretty much put it on, I believe. Let me make sure there's no, like, water that needs to be added. I don't think there is any water, though. I found this recipe yesterday. Oh, I was supposed to have some Worc Worcestershire sauce, too, which I don't have. I'm just going to, like, substitute and put a tiny bit of, like, sesame sauce. Yeah, I'll put sesame sauce. So, one cup of barbecue. I think that's pretty much going to be this whole thing, huh? I like barbecue anyways. I'm going to put the whole thing anyways. Because this extra barbecue, even better. I love sauce. Especially barbecue sauce. We need all that. All of it. Yeah, it calls for like a cup and a half. And actually, I think this is less than a cup and a half. Well, it's showing it pretty much a cup and a half. Exactly. And then one cup of this. Uh -oh, let me 
me shake it up. Because I only saw oil coming out. Alright, it's about a cup of that. The seasoning. Hi, Kobe. Got the seasoning. Ooh. Garlic in there. Mix it on up. And then, yeah, I have this set to high already. He's literally having a mess. Is he making a mess? Probably. Alright, so let's go ahead and pour this. for this recipe. Let's close this up and wait three to four hours. Three to four hours. Let me set an alarm. There you go. Come on, let me get some raisins. Huh? Say hi, vlog. Hi, vlog. Say, what are you doing? What are you doing? We got like an hour left for this, guys. So I'm just gonna check on it. Cash! Oh, yeah. Hi, Cash! So it's definitely all saucy. I'm gonna start shredding it now. By shredding it, I literally just take like a spoon and I just, you know, start chopping it. Okay. Well, this is pretty much done, you guys. Really good. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn it on low. I also have some sweet potato fries. They're almost done. I already put salt on them. We got some more laundry, <laughs> so I'm doing good. This just came out of the dryer. I got another load almost finished in the washer. This is gonna go in again, and I'm gonna throw in another load. And this time, I'm actually folding them as soon as I get them out because usually they just pile up and whatever. But I'm really so sick of these clothes, like, I need them all done today. It's almost 3 p.m. by the end of the night. I'm gonna have all this laundry done, okay? So that's what we're doing. to the gym I'm drinking the C4 team with the rest of the day it's the end of the day it's 720 I messaged around and fell asleep when Chloe fell asleep Chloe fell asleep pretty late so like we kind of just woke up and it's 720 which means Chloe's not gonna go to sleep for 830 bedtime if we just woke up it's 720 I only woke up because my boyfriend came home cash was only one up running around so I'm still tired, but I'm nowhere near bedtime. Cash might go to sleep at 8:30, may maybe not. Kobe's definitely not. So I'm gonna drink this to power through the rest of the night. I don't have a Red Bull. This was I was I saved this so I can go to the gym today, but I don't even feel like going to the gym. That's another reason I nap. My body hurts from the workout I did yesterday it like hurts but that's good because that means I worked out pretty good so let me just drink this and go on with the night hey guys it's later on I finally got everybody to sleep that's why I'm in the bathroom recording literally everybody is asleep except I think actually well I heard a peep out of Kobe so he might 
be kind of in and out of falling asleep but for the most part he's in his crib he's winding down he's gonna fall asleep at any second cash is asleep in here on this on the couch and even my boyfriend fell asleep so i'm i'm a little tired but i had that c4 so i'm like great now i'm gonna have to get tired or just stay up but it's in my best interest to go to sleep obviously because they're gonna be up at the crack of dawn oh hey with my apple watch is dead okay it's only it's only 9 32 so i guess it's not super super late but yeah i'm probably just gonna try and force myself to go to sleep so i'll see you guys in the morning <laughs> Hey guys, I'm back the next day, the next morning. I already put some makeup on. I actually did my little edges, guys. I look a little decent. I just threw on something casual. <laughs> look how I look. This is a long shirt that I slept in, this Bob Marley shirt. But um, I kept it on because I'm going to go to the gym today. So it goes good with just these black leggings. That way I'm not like exposed. It's loose fitting. Um, the material is really like breathable. So I'm like, this is a good shirt to wear in the freaking gym. So I left it on. I put this sweater on because I'm cold. Also, I have to go to the doctor. Have a, just a wellness appointment for myself. So... I'm going to leave this one and go to the doctor, and then when I get to the doctor, well, when I get from the doctor to the gym, just take this off, I guess. Wear the party shirt. And then I also packed the gym outfit because I was also like, I called my babysitter because I'm feeling like kind of sick. And also, I had four days off this week. It was by mistake, but whatever. I was like, cool, four days off, that's good because I needed some time to like catch up on life anyways after coming from vacation. Um... So I've been at home for the past four days, and then Cash is also in spring. What's this one straight? Anyways, Cash is also in spring break, so he's been here all freaking day. And it's just been mentally draining, <laughs> okay? I I ain't even go hold you. It's been mentally draining being at home for the past four days. And in my head, I'm even thinking, like, see, see this is why... Like, the four days off was cool that it accidentally happened, but I'm glad it was an accident. And next week, actually, I'm back to five straight days. Because at first I was doing, um... Four days and three days off. Three days off, which worked out good because I was also in grave, so it gave me like an extra day of recovery and blah blah blah. But like now that I've realized, like the work that I have at my home life is harder than the work that I have at my job, which a lot of mothers can't relate to. <laughs> I I don't necessarily need more days off from my job. I need days off from the house, even if I'm not going to work. That's the thing. I need I need to not have the only time off from this house is me going to work. I need to actually have time off for me to be mentally well. That, see, that was the problem. I was telling myself, oh, you know, work, that is my time away from home. That is my self-care. That is me getting out of the house. But going from work to another work situation is just... This is why I become so overwhelmed. This is why I get mentally drained. This is why I feel the need, like, I need to go on vacation all the time, you know? Because I'm trying to escape my regular hustle and bustle. Like, every day is something, you know? Even when I'm off of work, then I'm bombarded with more work at the house, okay? And then I'm getting sick now. Uh, I'm only sick. I'm just ready for winter. It's supposed to be fucking spring, but it's getting cold again. That's probably why... I got sick probably from the kids, but that's probably why they're getting sick. And we went from, like, upper 60s and things were doing good, and then it starts snowing again. So, like, if I'm sick, it's probably because one of the kids are getting sick, it got me sick, or they're going to be next being sick. Either way, like, everybody's going to fucking be sick, you know? Like, that's that's how it works in a household with children. So, I'm just annoyed. I'm going to go to the gym today. Um, I have to go to my doctor's appointment, like I said, but I called up my babysitter, Cash. I called up my babysitter, so she'll be on her way soon, and I, I, I had to tell her, like, honestly, I need, like, four hours. <laughs> like, I don't have anything to do, I'm not even gonna lie to you, so if you're busy today, you know, I don't want to, like, make you say what I really don't need you to, but if you have time, like, I could use, like, four hours. That way I go to my doctor's appointment go to the gym and just probably even have two hours to even just sit in the fucking car at Sonic and eat a burger and edit my fucking video would be top tier, you know, without 
<laughs> without being interrupted. That's it. That's all I need. Um, so that's why I'm dressed. And also, I was gonna go visit my friend at her job because the only way I can see my friend really, because we both work all the time and then we have kids, is when one of us are at work. Does that is that even grammatically correct? When one of us is at work, when one of us is at work, I believe. So, anyways, that's the only time we can see each other. So, she's off today. No, I'm off today, but I think she works today. And I wanted to catch her up on the vacation and everything because I haven't seen her. Like I said, I don't normally see her or talk to her unless we... It's hard trying to maintain friendships as an adult with children. <laughs> it's stupid. So, I probably will go up there and see her. She is also a bartender, so I could also use a drink. You know, like, it's all going to work out. It's all going to work out, okay? <laughs> My lips are hella crusty. I don't even know why I'm in the camera with it being this crusty. What's the matter? Oh no, there's a boo boo. It's all better. No, let me see. You got to find you to do something about this. This is stupid. I wasn't gonna tie it up. I guess. Look, you might as well just tie it, huh? Watch out, Cash. Your booty's doing something. Huh? Cash doesn't give a f about what I got going. This is what I'm talking about. I have productive stuff that I need to do that you would think I can do at home. No, like nothing, nothing is gonna effectively get done. So I'm just going to talk to you guys later when I get out of here. Okay. gym guys well I've been back <laughs> it's been like an hour but um, I got here and my mother-in-law and my nieces and stuff stopped by for a little bit so we were just chopping it up then they had to go I have some sweet potato fries going right now because I'm gonna make um, veggie burgers today well I don't even know because I don't even know if my boyfriend's gonna make it here because a lot of stuff happened with his truck and then it was snowing and then he had a chain up so drivers they have a certain amount of hours they're allowed to legally drive once those hours run up whether you made it to your destination or not you gotta shut down before you're illegally driving so I don't even know if he's gonna make it here so I don't even know if I should make the burgers because to be honest the kids aren't really gonna eat the burgers more so they're just only gonna pretty much eat the fries so I might just not make the burger not waste them probably just make a burger for my freaking self at this point I don't know or I might just make them ahead of time and then we can just eat them tomorrow yeah I might as well just do that make it all then he could just eat it tomorrow I guess yeah so I have that going the gym is really good I still sound congested because I still am I took some day quill I don't know it's day quill severe it wasn't working before I don't know if it's gonna work now so I can't tell if it's allergies or I'm sick 
but then the kids appear like they're starting to cough and sneeze and so I'm like maybe we're all just getting sick but then the doctor that I went to go see because I went to the doctor as soon as she started hearing me talk she asked if I have allergies which I know I do um, but I think my allergy medicine just isn't working because I told her like I take Claritin over the counter sometimes not sometimes now I've been taking two but it's still this is how I still am so she said sometimes um, your body gets used to the same thing so maybe you switch up the medicine or something so I'm like great great but anyways I went to see my primary care physician uh, to get started because I don't I'm not someone that goes to the hospital so the reason I did was so I could start to get care so I could go get a blood test go do lab work you know I'm getting to the age where I need to be doing mammograms regularly stuff like that so that's why I went there I also um, had a psychiatrist appointment it's April 25th though um, but the psychiatrist told me they like for you to have a primary care provider you know in addition so she's the one who set me up with this so I'm like oh whatever so talking to this doctor and she asked she's like okay you can wait to see your psychiatrist to get on something but we were talking about anxiety and stuff like that so she was like I can prescribe you something now which would actually be good timing because by the time you see the psychiatrist it'll be about a month worth of use so you can you know see like hey is it doing good is it doing bad do you want to switch it because that's how um, psychiatrist medicine works I found out they don't just give you something and that's just it that's what you're taking you see how it works see if it's working for you specifically and, and your stressors and blah, blah 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 and so yeah I'm really excited that I actually got some medicine today she gave me two different things one that I'm going to take daily that I won't feel the effects of for a few weeks like I have to my body has to get used to taking it and then she gave me something that was close to Xanax but not Xanax because Xanax knocks me out the one time I was having a panic attack one time I was having a panic attack and I did what they said I took the Xanax because she so I had one for daily use as well as the Xanax for when I'm really really like in the middle of a mental breakdown and to take it and don't get me wrong that Xanax worked but it worked so good that it, it scared me <laughs> scared my boyfriend at the time because from what he told me I don't even remember what happened but from what he told me I was crying hysterically I was literally in the midst of a breakdown I take my Xanax and I was on the bed I was crying I was blah 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 he said all of a sudden all of a, he said all of a sudden I just dropped and I was dead asleep like literally dropped and I woke up the next day felt okay but he was like the way it just made me just like it, it knocked me out and that's what I told her too and ever since then I have not been on mental health medication because I was afraid I was like I don't want something that does that to me you know <laughs> so she gave me something like Xanax but she said it'll still make you tired but it won't like knock you out but definitely take it one night where I don't have somewhere to go to see how it feels blah 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 um, see how I react to it because yeah just, just to know ahead of time so I'm really excited because there are those days where I'm really, really, really just overwhelmed and, you know, like, even, even the weight isn't working, you know, and um, I'm just accepting the fact that I just want to be on something regular. I just want to wake up and just feel okay normally. I'm accepting the fact that self-medicating with weed is cool and all, but I just want to get to the point where I'm not just stressed out regularly or triggered regularly. To the, I just want to smoke when I want to smoke for fun. Because at this point, I don't smoke for fun. I smoke to get through my days. I smoke so I have the will to fucking live. The will to get through the day. The will to get all my responsibilities done. If I didn't have that, the motivate. It's not that I... Yeah, the motivation would be gone. Like, for, it's like... <laughs> We gives me the motivation to get up and da 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 got all this stuff done. When I don't have it, it's like, ugh, all this stuff I gotta do. Ugh, ugh, ugh. And then it's counterproductive because with that attitude, I barely get anything done because of, you know, so I'm just hoping that this will help me just be mellow, okay, chill, everything's a good day. I feel like ready to tackle the world without having to smoke first to even get myself in the right mindset, okay? Yeah, so I'm hoping all the stuff works good. I'm really excited. I'll probably start taking it tonight. She says it's better to take it at night. But I'm just so tired of being congested. I wish I knew what the problem is. She told me something about cleaning the sinuses. Now, mind you, my boyfriend has one of those sinus cleaning machines, that Navage or whatever. 
she's been telling me to use it and blah 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 she said that's something i need to start using but i don't like putting things in my nose even when water gets in my nose swimming like i i hate things in my fucking nose so like i've tried the sinus things the the manual ones where you just shoot it up and uh, like it's not that it hurts it's just uncomfortable i don't like things up my nose even like the covid test like i'm just not into things in my nose so like but i really need to start doing that because allergies are something that i've just always had a problem with it's, and i'm tired of being congested like my ears are plugged i'm just i'm just i'm so annoyed i need to go try that or at least try some um spray she said flonase is good so i might order some flonase that's a little less intrusive than that that nasal thing so yeah we'll see i'm just gonna make these burgers real quick i'm just gonna throw them on the george Foreman grill nothing too wild i have the sweet potato fries already baking so that's it this is an easy dinner all i need to do is pretty much cut up tomatoes i have the lettuce blah blah yeah so um for the rest of the night i hate that i'm on the fence like this because the fact that i don't know if my boyfriend's gonna be home i don't know if i should wait to put the kids to sleep because I have to drive and go get him. And with the little kids, I don't want them to be asleep. If I have to go get them, then I have to transport them to the car, you know? So if we have to go get them, I'm, I'm pretty much just not going to put them to sleep. But it's looking like I don't think he's even going to have time. It's already about to be 6 o'clock. He's about four hours away. And the drive back to where I was going to meet him is four hours and three minutes. <laughs> And you already only have four hours left, which means you're either gonna have the speed, conditions will have to be perfect, there'll have to be no traffic, like, oh, <laughs> in order for you to get here. So, I really, honestly, I don't even think he's gonna get here. So, I'm probably gonna call him back and see what's up. I'm gonna get off of here and just yap, 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 because that's all I'm doing. I'm just gonna make these burgers, and I'll probably talk to you guys later. I'm definitely not gonna end the vlog here. I'm just gonna keep this one going. I'll probably talk tomorrow until I go to work. I don't work again tonight. This morning I go to work. Oh, look at my muscles, guys, from the gym. Like, I really get muscles, like, for real. Like, I can't believe this. And the doctor told me I was 112 pounds. I've never been 112 pounds unless I've been pregnant. So, I always, like, I remember I would be so happy when I got to triple, you know, to 110. You know, that would be like, wow, I'm doing great in life. You know, I'm really gaining weight. But 112? Proud of myself for that. Let's see. I just threw this on after, but you can see, like, I never had no type of thighs. <laughs> Nothing. So, I'm really excited about my gym progress, you guys. But yeah, let me just go do what I'm about to go to, and then I'll see you guys a little later. Hey guys, it's the next day, of course, and I'm at work. You know when you see me in the car, usually I'm at work. It's dressed up like this. I'm at work. Um, but I've been gone because yesterday, yesterday was a mess, and it's all because of the stupid weather once again. So, a boyfriend ended up, he got... Um, well, it started snowing yesterday. He didn't make it all the way home because, you know, you run out of hours like I was telling you guys. So, he got close enough to where I can go pick him up. So, I went and picked him up so he didn't have to sleep in the truck. And then I had to bring him back in the morning to go back to the truck to deliver the load. And then he still has to work today. So, then he gets to work today and he's on his way across the mountain again. And they turn him around because we're under another winter storm morning. And there was already a bad accident there. So they had shut down that part of the freeway and they were turning people back. So that happened. So now he, he's like probably going to get stuck in the truck tonight too. Especially trying to get back because we're still under storm warning. It's only going to get worse in the evening. So now that he's already so late getting there, he's going to be driving back in the evening when the storm is prominent. So I went and I brought him like a blanket 
and basically stuff to sleep in the truck. So there's all that. And then yesterday I told you guys I was going to my doctor appointment and then um and then I went to the gym well the doctor appointment went good they got me um some medicine prescribed and um I just want to document this for myself and for others who possibly are watching that may be interested in this too well I had made an appointment with a psychi psychiatrist I'm not sure if I said this already but the physician told me that she could prescribe me some stuff ahead of time and I told her, hell yeah, because honestly, I'm just tired of the funk that I'd be in. And even if it is because of the weather, like today I'm in a, probably a shitty mood too, like, but it's just the weather causes problems and then I'm already down because it looks how it looks, you know? It's just, I'm sick of whatever it is. And then I've gotten to the point in my spiritual journey where I believe that anxiety and depression is all that or spirits and <laughs> i'm trying to live well and prosper and thrive in life but these demon spirits of anxiety and depression just like come over to try and attack me and stop what i got going on because once i get in those moods you know it stops what i have going on so that's why i've been like i need to pray it away you know these these fucking demons of anxiety and depression on me but Either or, I'm trying to attack it from all levels, from a prayer aspect, also from a psychiatric mindset. Um, I got on some prescriptions, so hopefully my mood will improve in general and I don't have to self-medicate because I that's what I've been doing. I've been self-medicating, you know. Life seems to be a little better if I just get a little high, but I just, I just want life... To, I just want to be able to tolerate life a lot easier <laughs> just in general if this medication can change the way my mind thinks and doesn't go straight to oh, 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 gloom doom then that'd be great you know so this is day one of me documenting my journey literally day one I got prescribed the medicine yesterday I just took it today it said take it um in the morning she did say that it would make you a little sleepy so I'm not gonna lie I, I was tired today but she said those symptoms tend to go away you know as your body gets used to it and it takes up to like two weeks so it, again it's only day one and um, so far all I've experienced is the tiredness obviously this medication it doesn't work right away you got to give it some time you know at least two weeks she said about a month to see full benefits so I'm just really excited and I I'm happy I'll be able to look back on my vlogs and see if my attitude mood has changed you know so yeah this is my mental health journey day one and she also gave me some other medication, which is kind of like Xanax, but it's called hydroxyzine. And that's for, like, when I'm having a really, really, really bad day or, like, in the midst of a panic attack or something. That's something that will work right away and is fast-acting. She said it does make you sleepy, just like um, the other one and the Xanax, but it doesn't work as... It's not as potent as Xanax, because Xanax will knock me the fuck out to the point where it'll solve the problem. It'll solve my panic attack because it'll knock me the fuck out, you know? <laughs> but I don't want to be, like, I can't be knock the fuck out because I have kids so I took that one last night because she said um before I take it take it one day when I didn't have to work or anything and I had time just to see how my body reacted and I'm not gonna lie I think it not think it did work it said take one to two um tablets I had took one but the one definitely I started feeling it I did get sleepy which was good because even sometimes when I can't sleep I'll like smoke myself to sleep or drink myself to sleep just so I can wind down but yeah I don't want to I don't want to be doing that either if I don't have to <laughs> you know I, mean, I just don't want to have to do this stuff but yeah whatever so it did make me sleepy but it also kind of just made me cool calm and collected I will say that like after everything that happened yesterday and having to go you know get my boyfriend do all this and then I had to wake the kids up take them like usually I'd be like oh, oh, overwhelmed but I was kind of just like okay well let me just go get him oh well cash is still up okay well blah 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 then after everybody went to sleep I busted out my iPad and I edited a whole video and got it posted so I was like you know what looking back on it I think the hydroxyzine did me well last night like I wasn't stressed it did make me naturally tired but I was also like cool calm and collected enough to get some shit done that I needed to get done without you know moping because usually by the end of the day I'm like oh, it's been a fucked up day so sad blah 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 I'm ready to go to sleep fuck this let me have a drink oh, I need to go sleep 
I didn't do that. So that's that's really good. I'm really really happy about this journey. So I'm here at work early, like I always am. What time is it? I don't have my watch today because that was dead. Okay, it's 3:08. Um, I don't start till four today, but I need to go in there because I need to get fitted for some jacket. <sighs> today I'm bartending. Uh. I don't know if I'll film in there. I may or may not film there. If not, I'll see you. When I see you, which will probably be tomorrow. I don't know. I'll see you when I see you. Look how I look. Hey guys, I'm back after shift. I'm leaving work now because it's freaking rainy. So, I'm so sad because... So we didn't have a band tonight. Live music and... I'm thinking it was because of the weather, because a lot of them come from California, and like right now the 80 is shut down. We have another winter storm. I have my poor boyfriend is stuck on the mountain, so he, so like it was a it was a decent night at work. It wasn't like ter it wasn't like terrible. I I think I almost made 200 and I made like 175, so that's not bad. It's not completely bad before Friday. It is a little bad, but again, it's this fucking weather. So yeah. And then I'm like, my boyfriend just like bamboozled me with this. There's this YouTuber that we both watch. Uh, his name. Oh my god. Why do I always do this? If you guys are wondering, this is why I don't. I still don't have like a car uh, mount for the car. I just hold it. But anyways, there's this YouTuber we watch. His name is Arab. Just Arab. A-R-A-B. And he's like a travel vlogger. He goes... Now, I'm not gonna lie. My travel vlogger, I mean, he does what other people don't do. He'll go to, like, dangerous hoods in Brazil and be, like, hanging out with Brazilian gangsters and, like, he'll, he'll go to the trenches of Jamaica. You know, like, he does crazy stuff like that, but... I mean, his channel is really popular, and he's and he's funny too. He's hilarious, but just come to find out, he got kidnapped in Haiti. And again, this is what he does. He goes to these other countries, and he he does what other people are too afraid to do, you know. But honestly, I this just kind of hit me, and I can't believe. Oh, uh, I don't know. I'm like, I'm really kind of like, not kind. I'm really sad about. I'm really like concerned. I really hope that nothing bad, like, happens to him, for real. Because, I mean, that, that's fucking scary. He's in Haiti, you know? And just me watching his vlogs and knowing, like, the type of videos he does, like, I just really, I really hope they don't harm him, you know? And my boyfriend, uh, he sent me a couple of videos. Because I'm like, is this happening currently? Or, like, did this already happen and he made a video about it? But apparently he's kidnapped as we speak. Um, and I guess... They want $100,000 for him. I guess they've already paid $40,000. So, I don't know. This is a developing story, but I just really hope... Oh, I really hope he he gets out safe. That, that's really, really scary. But anyways, I'm headed home. This fucking winter storm. It's not snowing here, but it's raining uh, pretty hard. So, I'm probably going to get off the camera. And I'll see you guys at home or in the morning. This be pissing me. This be pissing me off when I'm filming. Like I like it up there until I start filming it. I'm like, oh my god, I get these things out. Okay, so it's still raining. Fuck. Oh my god, it's like hailing. Look. It's starting to come down. This is so stupid. I hate this weather. I get a, a medium hot latte. The uh, kind of cinnamon vanilla. I'm sorry. Can you say that one more time? A medium latte. A medium latte. You want the hot or ice? Hot, please. Okay, medium hot latte. Uh, can we have four pumps of vanilla there and whipped cream? Sure. And that's all. All right. Well, five ninety four. We'll be in the middle. Thanks. Thank you. I don't even know, cause their, their menu's so weird. I don't, really don't even know what I ordered. I just said a hot latte with fucking four pumps of vanilla and whipped cream. <laughs> like, 
I hope that tastes good. I don't know. Whatever. Hello. Hi. Good. Could I possibly add a donut? Yeah. Just a sprinkle donut. Which kind do you want? Vanilla, strawberry, or uh, chocolate? Strawberry, please. Okay. Here is Thank your you. caffeine. I'll have your change first. Oh, no change. Thank you. Thank you have so a good day. Have a good mm -hmm. Oh, guys, this is good. Now I'm wanting to something. Now, if I just need me a basic little order, I can just get a regular hot latte, medium, four pumps of vanilla, and whipped cream. Yeah, this hits. It's a perfect amount of sweetness. I remember last time I got some vanilla one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was vanilla. I think it was a small though. And I think I had told them like five pumps of vanilla and it was so sweet, it was so nasty. But I ended up going into work and like watering it down, like adding more freaking milk to it. But yeah, this this is perfect. This is just gonna be my go-to regular because I really don't need nothing too wild. All right, I'm about 45 minutes early. I brought my makeup so I can do makeup. Remember, I was telling y'all makeup here. Guess I'll do some makeup. I'm gonna park in the back so nobody's like looking at me. <laughs> and then when it's time to go to work, I'll pull up because I'm not parking this far back. one thing about me I love me a good donut this is also why I prefer Dunkin over Starbucks Starbucks don't have donuts just gonna do some powder put on the finishing spray all right so i'm going into work now you guys i'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here because i'm gonna start another one tomorrow and again i don't want them to be hours long so i'll see you guys back here in another vloggy vlog bye